those of you who know me well, you know that I have never been a gardener. And although we've recently moved from a house where we had a large garden, uh, over the years it was not filled with produce, it was filled with paddling pools, swings, slides, swing ball, football goals, and more latterly, beehives. Uh, but apart from a few fruit trees, we never grew any produce. In our new house, however, there is ample space for a vegetable patch. So during lockdown, I have embraced gardening. And what started me off was while we were out doing our uh, allotted hours exercise, walking around the village, we saw lots of plants, uh, well, vegetable plants outside people's gates for free. And so we began collecting them and planting them. And in this amazing weather, I've been watching them virtually grow before my very eyes. And as I've been regaling people with what I've been growing, they've given me even more plants. And wonder of wonders, I've even been able to give them some of the plants that I've grown. And I just love it. I have in my newly acquired vegetable patch, um, green beans, uh, monge two, courgettes, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, chili, parsley, um, ooh, aubergines, chives. Uh, it's wonderful. And I'm so excited. So each day I'm going out and lovingly tending them. And I am really, really grateful for people's kindness and generosity in offering these plants for free. But that got me thinking about other free gifts that are available around us, like the myriad colours of flowers and trees that we see every day, like the warmth of the sun, which has just been so fantastic over the last few weeks, like the incredible complexities of the galaxies in the night sky, like God's mercies, which are new every morning, and above all, his amazing grace. Sometimes people say, well, what's the difference between mercy and grace? They are very similar, but to try and simplify and distinguish what they mean, it's often said mercy is God not giving us what we do deserve. In other words, we deserve uh, punishment for our sin, but God doesn't give us the punishment that we deserve. That's mercy. And grace is God giving us something that we do not deserve, which is he gives us his, in his grace, he gives us his love, he gives us forgiveness, he gives us his favour and eternal life. And as Romans 3 says, everyone has sinned and fallen short of God's glorious standards and all need to be made right with God through his grace, which is a free gift. So excited and grateful as I am to have received all these wonderful free plants, they pale into insignificance when we compare them with God's amazing free gift of grace. It was John Newton who penned the hymn Amazing Grace. It was first published in 1799 and he had led a very depraved life. Um, he wrote in 1778, how industrious is Satan served? I was formerly one of his active undertempters, and had my influence been equal to my wishes, I would have carried all the human race with me. A common drunkard or profligate is a petty sinner to what I was. But thanks to God's amazing grace, John Newton's life was turned around, prompting him to write that wonderful hymn. And later he was ordained in the Church of England. He was ordained by the then Bishop of Lincoln. But that amazing free gift of grace was available to John Newton and it's available to each of us every day. So now, thanks to Mr. Techie, Chris, um, I'd like to play you, hopefully, um, a rendition of this amazing hymn of Amazing Grace, which was released at the weekend from 50 nations which have been affected by COVID-19. <laughs> 
19. So just bear with me while I do what I've got to do. Well, I hope you could hear that. <laughs> um, and how amazing is God's free gift of grace. Ephesians 4 says, Christ gave each one of us the special gift of grace, showing how generous he is. And at the end of the, uh, the DVD, it says, don't wait another day. So if you've never accepted God's wonderful free gift, then I encourage you to do so today. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer as we finish. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Have a good day.